In this module, we want to discuss how to create fast and easy gallery wraps using the Leo plugin in Photoshop. So in order to use this plugin, we need to go into the File menu and then go down to the Automate portion. From the auto Automate menu, we're going to go across to the Image ProGraph Leo plugin. When this dialog box opens, we have the option to select our units. We can select millimeters, inches, or pixels. As well, we can select the canvas size. Now, the canvas size can be created from your image size that's coming in, or you can create from a number of presets that are available in the menu. And if that's not what you want, then you can go into the Add Canvas Size and you can create a custom canvas size. Once that's done, you can click Add. In this case, we're going to click Close. Now, thickness refers to the size of the stretcher bar that you're using. Now, there's a 0.75 option and a 1.5 option, as well as a custom size. So if you have a custom size, you can enter that into the custom section of the dialog box. The amount of extension. Now, this refers to how much additional canvas you're going to wrap around the back of the spreader bars. So you may want to add a little bit of extra fabric or a little bit of extra canvas for stapling around the back. And thickness effect, this is going to determine how you're going to create that content that's going to go around the stretcher bars on the outside. So you have the option just to use the contents of the image itself. You can blur the contents. We also have the option to copy and create a, a duplicate area, duplicate content, so that you don't reduce the size and you have the option for reflection and soft reflection. As well, you have white and black, and you can also use a custom color if you so desire. So my favorite is soft reflection for this image. And also you can add crop marks. It certainly will help you once you've had this printed to know where to trim and fold the image. So once that's completed, we click on the Execute button. Now Photoshop is going through and it's performing all the actions to create your new gallery wrap. And once it's finished doing that, then it's going to process the image and send it to the print plugin. It's going to send it to the export plugin. And now we're in the export plugin ready to print. Our document has been created. We need to select our media that's loaded in the printer. In this case, we're printing a canvas mat. Our print mode. We're going to want to choose a high or highest print mode because we are producing a piece of art and we want the ultimate highest in resolution. The output profile, we have two choices here. One is use auto color and let the driver export plugin determine the color settings, or we can use an ICC profile. If there's an output profile that matches to your media type, then it's recommend that you use that as your first try. If that doesn't do it, then I would resort to the auto color option and see what the auto color can do. Usually between one of those two, you're going to get a really, really very accurate match, assuming you're using the Canon media. Under the page setup, we can create a paper size that'll fit this. We can also move that around, as people may not know. You can place that where you want on the sheet. You also have the option to change your preview. So we'll take that back to print area layout. It's also helpful under roll paper options to make sure no space top and bottom is on. That way you don't print any ex excess white. Under color settings, generally I leave these on the defaults or make very, very small adjustments. And now once you've completed the settings, you can click print and that will send your pre-configured canvas wrap to the printer.